Hi, I'm back. Look at me. I'm different. I lost on my front too, and my hair is almost gone. And I'll tell you what happened. Last year wasn't a good year for me. On June the 21st, I fell in the bathroom getting some water to do a video, and uh, I hit my head real hard and great big bump here. And I went to the hospital, and they said it was okay. And so I came home, and I was pretty good for a couple of weeks. And then pretty soon, um, on August the 21st, I started getting real bad headaches up here. And so I went to the doctor, and uh, they took another CAT scan and found that I had a large, large blood clot on my head, and that I'd have to have an operation. My whole side was all paralyzed. And uh, so I went the next morning to have my operation. And during the procedure, uh, something really uh, experienced it. I experienced a really wonderful thing. And I want to spare it with you. And also to paint, try to paint the feeling I had when this happened. Um, I can tell you a little bit right now uh, first of all, um, when I first woke up, I, I was in a deep, dark pit, and I said, where am I? And I looked up, and, up, up, and I saw this door open, and it was a faint door, faint light behind, and in the shadows, I saw a man, a beautiful tall, beautiful, strong, wonderful man, just a shadow. And I looked up and I said, are you God? And he said, yes. And then he disappeared. And I was in the dark again. And pretty soon somebody touched my hand. And I said, are you Jesus? And he said, yes. I want to ask you a question. He said, I want to ask, ask you this question right now. Do you want to really go back down to the earth with all this pain? And I didn't answer. He said, my child, do you want to go back to that place out there where they're shooting people and so much sin and sadness? And I looked up at the wall and somehow I saw a faint cross. And I thought, oh, Jesus, you came down to this earth, and look what happened to you. They hate you. They killed you on the cross. And he died for all the sins of the world. And yet they don't appreciate it. And Lord, you died for me. And now I want to go back and live for you. And he said, my child, do you really want to do this? And I said, yes. The next thing I knew, I was in bed. And I was all in pain again. And God told me, I want you to pay what you saw and tell this story to everybody you know. Because it's really true. And I love them. And I want them to know I love them. So will you go back? When you go back, as an artist, you've made so videos. I want you to do one for me, special, to show people that I am real. I am a real God. And so today, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try with a watercolor, because it's my favorite thing. By the way, I did paint an oil painting. And I'll show it to you also. But this time, I want to put more of my feelings into this. And I'm, I'm doing pretty good now. I don't look so hot. I, one of my tooth fell out. My cap on my tooth fell out. Now I have funny looking, no hair, hardly any teeth. So I can still paint. And what, 
nothing get me down. So here I go. And you listen, I tell you more. Okay, this is a 22 by 30 arches, 140 pound uh, paper. It's cold press. And uh, I like to use uh, my big handy brush, as you know, if you watch my videos. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is start to put some paint on here. And uh, I'm going to use a light color to start with. And I've also sketched in a little bit of what I want to do. And uh, so I know where I'm at. But right now, um, I'm going to fill all of this with yellow. I put some yellow on, and then I'm going to spray it, like you know how I do. And uh, let it run. Take it a little easy. Yeah, I'm just making this. This is going to be the dark pit down here. And it was really dark. I never saw anything so dark in my life. And I didn't know where I was. It was a scary time. Now, some people will say, oh, well, this is just a, a dream. But it was more than a dream. It was a real, it was a real thing. It happened to me. It's all real. It was another dream. And that's what I want you to know, sure. See, I keep, I keep putting this lighter color on, which will go darker as it goes, because it's got to be a dark bit. And uh, I'm doing my left hand. Also, I want to start spraying it. Let's bring a little red up in here. Maybe some in here. I'm going to do is spray, spray it again. But I said, four months, I'll be 97, 97 years old. And I'm still painting. And I still love to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to sit in a chair all the time. I want to. I'm going to do something creative. God created us, and he made us as we are. He gave me this talent, and I praise him for it. And he wants me to use it for him, and that's what I'm doing. So, maybe some of you don't like what I say, but this is what I, the way I feel, and I want to tell everybody about it. And that, so, how you can enjoy life, even when you get this age, and even when you have a brain operation. I built my brain, he said, I had a brain, a perfect brain. But then some, it wasn't wrinkling or anything for my age. It was just perfect. And I praise God for that. Okay, I'm making this a little darker now. Okay, I'm just going to sort of outline uh, the shape here of a man. And it's, uh, it's tall. Yeah. 